Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. I work as a creative video director and editor. This channel is mine. It's all about kind of tech gear and making better content and videos and a few observations and a little bit of inspiration along the way. Now, I love the DJI Osmo Pocket. In fact, I'm shooting this video on it and I kind of shoot most of my videos these days on the Osmo Pocket because it's small, it's portable and it's great. However, when you are vlogging, holding the Osmo up like this face to face, lens to face, yeah. So the lens on the Osmo Pocket until now is not that wide because Ulanzi, which is this Chinese company and who make really good stuff, by the way, have sent me this. This is a wide angle lens for the Osmo Pocket. Wanna, wanna see, wanna see some of the lights? Wanna, wanna see a wider shot? Yep, you can do it with this. There. Like there, you can see more of the desk behind me. It's kind of crazy that they've managed to do this on a magnetic lens for the Osmo Pocket. I've read that you cannot actually make a wide angle lens for the Osmo Pocket. A company called Skyread, who do some very good in D filters, tried it and they said it was actually too heavy. Ulanzi, for some reason, have managed to do this. Now, it's cheap. It's cheerful. It doesn't come in a fancy box or anything, but you know what? It works. Now, before I go on and talk about the bad, and there is a little bit of bad to this, I'm going to show you a couple of shots that I took this evening. Everything is kind of on auto, but the before, I'm going to just watch the shots. negatives couple of negatives about this little piece of metal and glass as i said it's cheap and cheerful okay so it's kind of accessible for anybody who has an osmo pocket number one the magnets are not as strong as they could be so i do feel if you are running or you are moving this lens is liable to kind of possibly move slightly and if you don't get this on perfectly let me see can i not get it on perfectly you can see there's a little bit of a blur there's a little bit of a smear, you know, and I've seen a lot of this footage reviewing this lens and it has been blurred. So it is very important to get it on correctly and it does snap in, but it doesn't kind of, it doesn't snap in as, as strong as I'd like, to be honest. No, there's probably a reason for that. This is a heavy piece of kit. Okay. This is a lot heavier than I expected. So the glass that's in it is, is wide angle. It's making everything wide angle and between the weight of the glass and the magnets, I think that if they had a stronger magnet, it probably would make this heavier. And the Osmo Pocket does not like heavy stuff attached to it because the gimbal motors are not strong enough. So I'm not sure what the solution to that is. I mean, I'm confident enough it'll be okay. But considering the fact that if you're not using a wireless adapter or you're not using the Osmo Pocket on your phone, it really is difficult to see on the small Osmo screen whether something is blurred or screwed up because this moved or you put it on ever so slightly wrong. But it's a small, for the price, it's a really small, small gripe. The other thing is that you cannot have this on the Osmo when you're turning it on because of this here. It does kind of block the gimbal calibration, but then again, you're not really going to keep even an ND filter on the Osmo. So that's another small gripe, as we'd say here. So it's a small gripe. Depending on how you shoot stuff, if you like to shoot cinematic footage, 24 frames per second, you know, one over 50 in that beautiful motion blur, then you're not going to be able to use this. You're not going to be able to use it because you cannot use this with an ND filter. I have tried. I stuck a Polar Pro ND filter onto the Osmo. I tried to stack this on top of it and the Osmo started vibrating like one of those uh, things. Uh, and it just, no, it did not like it at all. So the motors are not strong enough, which is fair enough. They're not really designed for stacking lens and lens adapter on top. So, but just keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to use an ND filter with this. Not a big deal for some people, not a game breaker or a deal breaker or a plate breaker for me, but it's still something to kind of keep in mind. But you know, if you're shooting stuff at 60 frames per second, which some of the footage was shot, then it, it's perfectly fine. But I, it's just, just another kind of a small little gripe. 
I am really impressed with this, to be honest. I like Ulanzi as a brand. They offered me a load of stuff. I said, guys, thank you so much for this. I have more or less bought all of your stuff on AliExpress. So um, this was one of the few things that I haven't bought off of them as of yet, but they sent me this one for free. So thank you very much, Ulanzi, for that. And uh, I, I gotta say, um, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I thought it would be kind of crap, even though the Ulanzi stuff that I have is pretty well built it's pretty solid i'm using the osmo pocket right now on a ulanzi wireless adapter tripod mount because of course dji cannot make anything without needing an adapter for it so their stuff is good but i was like a wide angle lens uh, it's not going to be but it is so you know for the price of this thing it's probably a no-brainer to pick it up Genuinely, um, I'm impressed with it. Yes, it's got its niggles for what it is, but what it achieves for something that I think a lot of people might have thought was probably impossible, then it's a big thumbs up for me. Hang on, let me just check the camera. Yeah, it's still perfectly in focus. It's not smeared or blurred. But yeah, it's it's a big thumbs up for me. And, uh, you know, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. If you have an Osmo Pocket, but genuinely, um, this does give a wider shot. Yes, there's a little bit of distortion. You can kind of see it. You can remove that in post, which does crop the image down a little bit more. But uh, I think it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's acceptable for what it is. So uh, thanks to you, Lanzi. Thanks to you for watching. And we will see you in the next episode of the vlog. If you have found this video, stick around, stick around. If you have found this video any way kind of useful or informative for you, like, that kind of makes sense what he said then hit subscribe. It's there. Is it? Is it? There? Anyway, there's a subscribe button somewhere. It'd be awesome if you'd hit it. And like the video and share it to your friends if you think they might get use out of it. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. Hey guys, what's going on? What about who? No. until you better cut. Hey guys, what's going on? 